Zeo Energy. We're focusing on this one. ZEO Energy Corp. Provider of residential solar distributed energy, energy efficiency solutions focused on high growth markets. So the company rang the opening bell at the NASDAQ here in New York City on Wednesday. We want to hear all about that experience. We want to learn more about the company. Tim Bridgewater is with us, CEO of Zeo Energy Corp. Thank you so much for being with us and congratulations, CEO. So tell us a little bit about the company. Thank you for having me on, first of all. Uh, yeah, the NASDAQ uh, bell ringing ceremony was a lot of fun. We had a lot of our administration team and our sales team there and a lot of energy around uh, the NASDAQ offering. We are a residential solar installation company. So we have salesmen in the field, mostly in the summertime, um, but uh, we sell and install on homes, uh, solar systems and energy storage in the home. And uh, then we maintain the systems for the, the customers. So we're primarily based in Florida, but we've expanded in recent years to Texas, Arkansas, and Missouri. And uh, we came together with a SPAC uh, who uh, decided we were a good, profitable company and they wanted to bring us to the market. So uh, we completed that business combination uh, this past week and went public. So. I want to hear more about the demand that you've been seeing. I think everybody has become a lot more uh, conscious, conscientious, I can say. Um, and you talk about solar energy installing this, um, I guess capturing energy too. What kind of demand do you see now and how has the demand been growing or changing? That's a great question. The uh, international markets, Europe and, and uh, Australia, some other places have a much higher penetration and utilization of residential solar than we do here in the U.S. In the U.S., Hawaii and California have been uh, the leaders in installing rooftop solar on homes. Um, and uh, most states have anywhere from, you know, three to six percent of the homes will have solar panels on the roofs. And yet there's huge demand that continues and uh, there are a lot of government incentives as well as many people want to do all they can to uh, limit their carbon footprint and lower uh, fossil fuel emissions. And one of the best ways to do that is generating the power on your roof and using it in the home. And so uh, we've been growing rapidly and uh, we decided to take advantage of that growth uh, by becoming a public company and uh, that makes us more transparent and more able to share with our customers and with other people in the industry what we're doing and where we hope to be. We're a profitable company and uh, that's unique in this fact space. And so we hope that uh, over the next couple of quarters, the market will take a good look at us and see us as a simple, straightforward, sustainable company, sustainable profits and uh, in the green energy space, and we hope to uh, be winners in the marketplace. Understood. Um, you know, when we talk about how we are evolving, I mean, a lot of it is subsidies, too. And I think people like that when they can get a little bit of a break. Where do we stand on that? Because that always seems to go back and forth. I mean, the demand for EV vehicles surged and seems to have, I won't say plateaued, but has pulled back a bit. I don't know if you think that's a fair way of saying it. You know, I think people get on board and then maybe the economy gets tough and then they sort of take a step back. I guess it's ebbs and flows, but your thoughts and subsidies can help, right? Yeah, I think that if you compare what we deliver to the customer, traditional power uh, from the utility has been uh, cheaper than renewable energy you know, in the past. A decade ago, you'd, ha you'd have to pay a premium to get renewable energy, but now because of lower costs, because the uh, recent IRA legislation that continues to provide investment tax credits. So that helps drive down the cost of power to consumers and they can actually save money and also go green by putting panels on their home. And so we have a value proposition that we share much like uh, some of the larger players in our industry where we sell to customers on saving money and going green and putting panels on their home where they generate their own power from the sun. And the great thing about Solar is that there's not a lot of high maintenance costs, a lot of breakage. It's really inverters and panels that have 25 year warranties uh, by most manufacturers. And that gives you an opportunity to just allow the sun to produce most of your power. And 
just tell us about the process because when you when you have a SPAC, you talked about profitability and sometimes we see companies, you know, we talk about the path to profitability. Not in your case. You seem to have um, specific growth at, um, in the energy space opportunities over there. I mean, your long-term vision for this name and should we be focusing on Zio and or Sunergy or just Zio? What would you like people to take away from this when they think about this in the next five or 10 years? Well, that's a great uh, question. We uh, kind of view ourselves as a very simple, straightforward business. We sell, we install, and we may help the customer maintain the systems. And so we like to refer to ourselves as the Coca-Cola of decarbonization, a very simple product. We make a profit and we deliver a great service. And so uh, Zio is the name of the company that we came together in the merger with SGen, um, and it means fervent spirit or a zeal. And I think we're sales driven. Our salesmen go out and share uh, their presentations with consumers, give them an opportunity to purchase the systems and then have them installed within a few months on their homes. And I think if you take anything away, the movement is going to be there. There are winners and losers in the marketplace all the time. But we're going to continue to utilize renewable energy, now, whether that's nuclear power or solar power or wind power at a higher percentage of the overall power utilization. And so I think there's lots of growth in the area. There are a lot of good companies that you can look to, and we hope to be one of them. Uh, the SPAC process itself is a bit unruly. It's how a lot of companies are going public these days. Um, and I think uh, if the market will give us a few quarters to show performance and watch our profitability, we think that we'll have uh, a great company for long-term investment in the renewable energy space. Yeah. You know, the first solar CEO was saying that U.S. solar firms are in a dire situation as imports soar. Is that something you have conversations about? Would you say that commentary is on point or what would you add or change to that? It depends on which segment of the marketplace you're in. Uh, I think there's a lot of competition in the equipment side from imported products uh, from Southeast Asia and China for panels, inverters, uh, but a lot of domestic content is getting more and more efficient now. A lot of companies have opened up new factories here in the U.S., creating jobs. Uh, the, the, uh, you know, the Inflation Reduction Act helps drive some of those projects because they're really pushing to create more and more sustainable energy opportunities that are built domestically. For us, we just install the best equipment, top tier panels. We use Enphase inverters for the most part, and we have the opportunity to give long-term warranties to the customers. So we want high quality products at the lowest cost possible as always. And then we deliver that service with installation and customer service and sales processes that we think are uh, differentiators. We're vertically integrated, so we have in-house installers, in-house sales teams, and those help us differentiate ourselves from some of the competitors in the marketplace. But I think overall, you know, there's a lot of, uh, there's still a lot of demand in the U.S., whether it's domestic content or international content, and I think you'll see that continue uh, in double-digit growths in the future, despite high interest rates. High interest rates are really as a headwind for our industry right now and the uncertainty of when and how much the reduction in those interest rates i think that is going to be a driver for our industry as well because most people finance the purchase of their uh, systems through loans or leases uh, only about five to ten percent will pay cash for their systems Right, understood. Um, you mentioned that it's mostly residential. Um, and I'm curious, when you talk about containing the energy, what kind of numbers do you see? I mean, is it going, uh, this is crazy, but when you say 50% of the homes will have solar panels or um, you can capture energy and live on that energy for a week. Um, are there any fun facts about Zio and the energy that you bring to folks that they can talk about later? I'm trying to, you know, build some buzz around Zio Energy. I love the fun facts myself because I learn a lot. Could you tell me anything else that we could add in here? Well, we had a sales rep on the doorstep of a customer 
and the customer asked him, how do I know that you guys are a legitimate company? And he said, well, we're going public. And he pulled up the NASDAQ live feed and he made a sale right at the moment that we rang the bell, which was kind of fun. Um, I, th I think that you know we are uh, a company that uh, you know, we want to set a standard in the industry. We want customer service to be at its highest level. We want to deliver quality product. Um, you know, it's a construction company delivering services to the home. And so working with homeowners uh, is uh, both a, a benefit and a challenge, making sure you get things right. And I think uh, we, you know, we have a lot of different stories about different types of homeowners who purchase solar. And uh, I think by and large, we're seeing this industry grow as people get more and more comfortable as costs continue to come down. There was a supply chain issue a year ago that drove costs up as well on the panels and inverters and racking but that has come down now and that's mitigated some of the high interest charges so we expect to see improvement in uh, our margins improvement in lowering costs for customers and hopefully as interest rates uh, come down over the next few quarters we'll see an increase in demand across the board for uh, renewable energy generally and residential solar in particular yeah, yeah, and fun for the uh, salesperson who was able to show the live feed of the NASDAQ yeah. and make that sale. Tim, it's great to see you. Congratulations. Tim Bridgewater, CEO of Zio Energy Corp. Thank you. Thank, thanks so much.